Today, I'm creating a matchbox shrine. And although it looks a little grim and it's called Little Death, it's actually a shrine to love and love it. First, I'm making tiny paper flowers. I'm using thin colored tissue and, with punches, cutting out a variety of circular shapes. I'm using three different punches for this particular batch of flowers. I've placed a piece of thick fabric on my work surface for the next part. This will help in shaping the flowers. Add a tiny dab of glue just in the center of the cutout. Then layer the various shapes. When I have three to five layers together, I push firmly in the center. With the squishy fabric beneath, this should cause the layers to lift and separate, creating the flower shape. I'm using a ball-ended stylus for this, but a dull pencil works just as well. Another little dab of glue and the tiniest pinch of fluff gives a realistic center to the flowers. I'm making a variety and more than what I need, just in case. Next, I'm sculpting the tiny skull for my shrine. I'm using a product called Creative Paper Clay. It's lightweight, air dries, and I love working with it. My hands run a little hot and polymer clay doesn't always cooperate with me, so for me, Creative Paper Clay is a great alternative. Although I have plenty of sculpting tools, I'm using the handle of a small paintbrush to do most of the shaping here. You don't need fancy tools or materials to create. Use what's available and what works for you. I'm using the same product with silicone molds to create decorative embellishments. I'm squishing the clay into every cranny until it's completely full. I'm going to leave the clay in the mold to dry before removing. When dry, the pieces should come out quite easily. With a sharp blade, you can cut any excess clay and smooth rough edges with sandpaper. If your pieces have warped slightly, you can sand the back flat with an emery board. I'm lining the interior of the box of the shrine with a handwritten love poem I found in a box of vintage sheet music. I'm cutting a framed window out of the front panel of the exterior matchbox sleeve and painting the edges to keep things tidy. Those fancy filigree decorations are glued into place. The two matchbox pieces are slipped together and the exterior covered with decorative scrapbook paper. With thin gold Dresden trim, I frame the window. Now I'll glue the corner pieces into place.
The eye sockets are darkened in the tiny skull before it's placed inside the shrine. Copper highlights are added to the decorative corners. Then the flowers are added. I had thought to add some leaves and ivy to this piece, but, well, it just didn't work. Sometimes it's best not to force an idea or element to fit and just go where your work takes you. The little stand for this shrine is actually an old wooden chess rook. I'm applying a thin band of gold trim to gussy it up a little bit. I'll attach the chess piece to the bottom and a small metal crown to the top of the matchbox. The final touches are a little golden butterfly and an amber glass gem and the little death matchbox, a shrine to love and lovers is complete. For more information and a list of supplies used in this piece, follow the link in the video description, or you can just come and poke around at blog.pixiehill.com.